Jonathan Kite and That's Hot. Hey, I'm Armin, and we are here at the OK Magazine Oscars pre-party, waiting for all the stars to show up. That's hot.com. Com. The game is coming by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about it? Uh, there's a lot of nakedness. There's a lot of naked fighting. Uh, there's a little bit of football. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna. Hey, be I'll roll with the punches. <laughs> yeah. uh, football, I got it. No, uh, this season is interesting, man. You know, it picks up where it left off. Um, Blue and Kira are still trying to figure out if they want to be together and. Yeah what their lives are like without each other, you know? It's so all of a sudden these two superstars, she's, she's got her, her film career back and he's obviously a huge football player and they're trying to figure out like if they fit in each other's lives and how dating in the same city goes when they're not together. Um, so yeah, so you know, it's, it's a lot of that, a lot of fun, a lot of love, a lot of fighting, a lot of wanting them to figure it out and get their young love and, you know, be together, yeah. And so, outside of the show, behind the scenes, maybe when you guys are at Crafty, what is going on behind the scenes? We all want to know. A lot of joking, a lot of singing, because we got Brandy. So okay. Brandy is like, she's one of the most amazing talents out there. She's constantly singing. Is she like a living musical where she just bursts out into song at any given moment? She is a living musical. And Hosea, who plays Malik on the show, is actually like right there with her, but he's like, He's a living musical stuck in the 70s, huh? so it's all like a little like bow chicka bow. That sounds like a porn. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, he's a living musical stuck you in the 70s. Say naked people are in this I did show. Say naked people. It is. It is BET. It's ratings. That's what we do. That's what we do. Um, but but it's a lot of fun. You know, I think we bonded really well as a cast together this year. So uh, we had a, an opportunity to eat dinner together a lot and talk about each other's families and meet each other's families and tell jokes and experiences. So uh, it was really cool. So. Uh, uh, not rolling like when we're like there and like at crafty it's just a lot of joking a lot of fun and because I really just have to know what is Brandy's go-to song to burst out in oh my gosh I, you know Brandy's one of those people who's a catalog so it's like you get anything with her I mean you can get sound of music and then she'll go into the Isley Brothers and then she'll go into Rihanna and then she'll go into Gaga I mean she'll literally she goes into so much like her knowledge of music is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen uh, which is probably why she's probably the best voice out there one right? of the best voices out there you know what I mean she's she knows her craft very well yeah awesome. and okay a and lot she makes up a song every now and again too Ooh. yeah and I have to know because you also also said jokesters this right. is kind of my thing I love this question so much okay who on the cast is the biggest prankster and what was the prank me oh. all right then what was your prank no I was not I did I did do a prank once where I filled uh, Lauren's trailer up with balloons for her birthday so as soon as she opened the door like literally balloons came cascading out of her trailer and like hitting her in the face um, how did you pull that off without her noticing uh, she was in a scene that I wasn't in okay so I, sh I came to work a little bit early had the balloon guy come and literally they did like I mean, it was probably three or four hundred balloons in there I mean it was absolutely Dang. insane I don't even know what I feel bad for the people who had to clean up those balloons I never even thought about that <laughs> such a bad person I was trying to do a good thing but it was a bad gone wrong um, but there's all kinds of stuff Jose is a big prankster I mean I, I it, we just have a lot of people I mean everyone does something different so it just kind of depends on like we work in the middle of the night a lot so we get a lot of like late night jokes we get a lot of like people are making like doing pranks and they're delirious and they don't even know they're doing pranks we get a lot of stuff like that you know it's weird I don't know how to explain it I love it all right thank you so much for talking with us I don't even know what the camera. that's hot.com